The 131-year-old company that made baseball bats for legends like Babe Ruth has agreed to sell its Louisville Slugger brand to its rival Wilson Sporting Goods for $70 million. Joining me now to give us the details is The Deal's senior writer, Lou Whiteman. Hi, Lou. Hi, how you doing? Great, thanks so much for joining us today. Mm -hmm. So um, this was clearly a hard and emotional decision for the bat maker. The CEO of H&B said it was a difficult and serious one to make to sell the company. He also said it was not an easy decision, nor one he took lightly. Is this a matter um, of another case of a family-run company being outmatched by corporations with deeper pockets? I think that's it exactly. This is a great brand, as you say. It's a brand that goes back to the beginnings of baseball. It, it's Americana. But it is a relatively small company in a, in a global world. They did maybe $100 million in sales total. Wilson, the buyer, is a $700 million sales company. Uh, you add in that Louisville Slugger had some problems diversifying. They've had some trouble with some of their other products. This is a company that just has struggled in recent years to um, to make a go of it, despite despite the brand and despite the loyalty they have with major league players. Mm -hmm. And how will this deal hit it, uh, the workforce for H and B? Uh, and what's the outlook for the iconic brand right now with its museums and such? They uh, they say there are going to be some layoffs, most of it uh, you know back office, but uh, the deal. You know, by the deal, the Wilson will continue to have the bats made at the Louisville factory. The museum in Louisville, the gift shop, uh, all of that will remain with the family. So this is very much going to remain a part of Louisville, a part of sort of the the culture of baseball. Uh, what it, they hope now is, is that the brand will have the power, the the international reach to uh, to to be a lot more profitable and, and to last another hundred years. And when it comes to America's favorite pastime, having international reach, just here at home, the New York Times or New York Post is reporting Time Warner Cable is expected to take a one billion dollar loss for a bad deal to acquire TV rights to LA's Dodgers games. With the baseball season just a few weeks away, is America's favorite pastime no longer a profitable business? I think baseball would say that's Time Warner's problem. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you know, baseball, this is, they're going into this season with a new commissioner. Uh, Bud Selig stepped down after 22 years. The average franchise value is something north of $800 million. Baseball is healthy. Baseball isn't growing the way they'd like to be. They still have the demographic issues, kids maybe wanting faster sports, the, the rise of soccer, lacrosse, what have you. But this is still a powerful, powerful business. And actually, the league is a lot more stable in terms of its ownership than uh, some of its rivals have been in, in, few, in, uh, in recent years. This is, this is a league that is still very strong, even if it isn't the strongest anymore. Lou, thanks so much for sharing your insight with us today. Thank you. Lou Whiteman is the senior writer for The Deal and for The Street. I'm Susanna Lee.